We learned this week the name of Steve Austin's next guest on the Broken Skull Sessions on the network, or uh, Peacock as it were, airing the same day as night two of WrestleMania. So it's going to be dropping next Sunday, April 11th. And that man is none other than AEW's own Chris Jericho. That is not the name I would have predicted. And it broke the internet for a few hours on Friday. Both men spoke with Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated about how this all came about. Austin said, I was having a beer one night after my interview with The Undertaker aired. And out of the blue, Chris Jericho reached out and said, man, that was a great interview. I sent him back a couple of those emojis, one of a beer mug and the other of an eagle. And then he called me right then and there. I like the idea that Austin is, is he only responds to people with emojis. I like that. He says, we got to talking. I've always respected the hell out of his career, and I'm glad they're around. It gives the guys and girls in professional wrestling more places to work. I said, I'd love to have you on the show. And he said he'd love to do it. So I texted Vince and said that we had this badass idea about Jericho coming on the show. Vince goes, it's cool. Go ahead. But me and Vince don't always do well with phones and texts and all that. So I texted one more time. Are you sure it is okay to have Chris Jericho on the show? And Vince gave me the thumbs up and Chris came out to do the show. So the article mentions that Tony Khan also gave Jericho his blessing to do it. Austin says nothing is off limits. I mean, they didn't explicitly say in the article they're going to, they're going to talk about AEW, but that is what is implied here. When he says that nothing is off limits, they go into everything, he says. It's very cool that this is happening, uh, and the timing is smart. You know, timing it next Sunday. Because it puts eyeballs on Peacock right in the middle of WrestleMania weekend. It's the morning after night one, same day as night two. So it's a brilliant get. It's a brilliant move on their part. And, you know, AEW gets some attention out of it too. And we'll see how much they go into AEW on the show. I'm sure the majority of it is obviously going to be spent on talking about Jericho's WWE career. The guy spent 20 years in the company. But you have to imagine that they're going to bring up what Jericho is is up to these days. So I look at it as a win-win for everybody involved. I already got a couple of emails. Does this open the door to more between the two companies? Is, is the forbidden door is the forbidden door open now? It's an interview. It's an interview. It's not peace negotiations. It's not a match. So no. That is not going to happen. We are not going to suddenly get WWE and AEW working together. Look, it's not as if WWE hasn't, uh, you know, worked out things like this before with other promotions when they've wanted stuff. They wanted Ric Flair for the Hall of Fame when he was still with TNA. So they worked out a deal. And in exchange, they sent Christian back to TNA for one night to make an appearance. So, I mean, it's not unheard of. It was just very unexpected to hear the news. But let's start taking bets now on how long it takes for Jericho during the interview to bring up the fact that he pinned The Rock and Stone Cold on the same night to become the Undisputed Champion. How 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 deep into the interview is it going to be before we get that first mention? Interestingly, Jericho's contract with AEW is up next year. I don't know if it's at the beginning of the year. I think it might be later in the year next year. But when he signed with them, it was said to be a three-year deal which would put the expiration sometime in in 2022. And that's going to be very interesting. You know, he still he's talked about the fact that he still, you know, texts Vince McMahon or keeps in touch with him every, you know, now and then, here and there. But he has said before that he has no intention of ever leaving AEW and going back to WWE. That is what he once said. Now, Jericho may have done and said a lot of really stupid things, but when it comes to business, he's not a dumb man. He'll play both sides against each other if he thinks he can get a better deal out of it, not a doubt in my mind, because that's the smart thing to do. But when push comes to shove, you know, do I, you know, see him going back to WWE next year? Do I see him leaving AEW? No! No! course not now we don't know what AEW's business is going to look like in a year they've got you know that tv deal with uh with with tnt locked in for a few more years 
I cannot imagine a scenario where AEW isn't around in a year or a year and a half. So if things are are still kind of kind of status quo, uh, there's not I, I don't want to say there's not a chance, but do I envision a scenario where Chris Jericho leaves and goes to WWE? No. No. Why would he? Why would he? Tony Khan pretty much lets him do whatever he wants. I don't think Tony Khan ever says no. <laughs> he makes, you know, Jericho's making great money. He's got creative freedom. Freedom on his promos. He has a clause in his contract that allows him to keep working with New Japan whenever he wants. He can make his own deals with New Japan. Why would he leave? He's got one of the most sweetheart deals in all of wrestling. Plus, he, he's got his band. He can go tour whenever he wants to. He's got his cruise every year. They were going to have live uh, dynamite matches on the Jericho cruise this year. I don't know if they're still doing that in October because they rescheduled the cruise. Uh, but, you know, with his whole cruise endeavor, he can have Tony Khan, AEW, they can work together on that. Yeah, he tried to get Triple H, I think, in WWE to, to work with him on that first cruise, and they basically blew him off. So he ended up having wrestlers from almost every other promotion, but WWE, NXT, they wouldn't send anybody on that first cruise. So there is there is no reason I can I can see right now that Jericho would go back to WWE and leave AEW because he's got a sweetheart deal. But if he's smart, as we get into later this year, into the beginning of next year, you may start seeing reports and rumors of Jericho. Ooh, Jericho's considering leaving. Jericho's weighing his options or there's little murmurs about what he might do. And to me, that's all just contract ploys and just trying to get the best the best deal he possibly can. But at the end of the day, he's not going anywhere. He's got no reason to.